Donald Trump certainly disapproving of Colin Kaepernick's protest, not standing for the national anthem. We have with us now the Tea Partier, Nigel Ennis, who agrees with Mr. Trump, I believe. Activist Jay Morrison yes. is also here, and he is, just so everybody knows where we're coming from, on the Kaepernick side of things, right, Jay? You make your case for why it's okay uh, to do what Cal Colin Kaepernick did. Absolutely. Go ahead. Okay, so Start us to, off. to make that case, yeah, no problem. The first thing we have to do, we have to all look at it from the right paradigm, right? And all Kaepernick is saying, and he, he really is a hero, American hero, not just an African-American hero, is what he's saying is that oppression is wrong. Second-class citizenship of Africans in America is wrong. So okay. before, and I want to challenge Donald Trump and even Hillary Clinton, any of our presidential candidates, before you can condemn Colin uh, Kaepernick for sitting during an anthem, which was an anthem about revolution, uh, how about we condemn the oppression and second-class citizenship of Africans okay. in America? Let me start with you for one second, and then I'm going to come back to you on it. I just want to get Niger's uh, initial comments, just see where he's coming from, and then we can, uh, you know, forward a discussion. Uh, you heard uh, certainly what Jay had to say. Niger, where are you on this? Colin Kaepernick is no particular hero. You want to know what a hero is? It is someone like Booker T. Washington that was born in slavery and died a millionaire and celebrated the capitalist system for, that made it possible for him to become a millionaire and celebrating the hard work and ethics and pick yourself up by your own bootstraps ide ideals at a, a time in our country that was much more of a challenge to black people than it is today. No, Muhammad your, your Ali. Issue Muhammad Ali was Ma even. Let me let oh, me just say this real quick. Between, yeah, Colin and, and Muhammad Ali. Go ahead. Yeah, the difference between Muhammad Ali and Colin is that Muhammad Ali actually sacrificed something. He lost millions of dollars. He wasn't guaranteed $61 million like Colin Kaepernick. He right. lost his heavyweight but, championship. But, 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 but Kaepernick is, is he, still is remains he, is to be seen. There may be some economic sacrifice Is he not sacrificing here. endorsements? Well, he might. Is he not That's sacrificing what potential endorsements? There may be an economic sacrifice Colin here. We'll Kaepernick is, is going is, to is be he, the toast of the town is in elite circles. Is he not also... But let's, but let's bring it back. You never addressed, is it or, or not, Africans in America under oppression and second-class citizenship? By definition, not by opinion, but by definition, second-class citizenship is those in the society who aren't accorded a fair share of consideration. And statistically, if you look at every stat, every wealth stat, every poverty stat, every educational stat, every homeowner stat, every okay. stat, I think the points question, that African I, in America is are before I let Niger respond, I think let, 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 one let, of the let, issues. Let, 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 uh, let, let one second, Niger. No, I know you're going to reply. You're, you're, you're actually going next. I just want to bring up one thing, right. uh, Jay, <laughs> okay. because I was reading it right before we came on. There is a, the other side of this is some people have an issue with how he's doing it, even if they agree with him on the issues. Like Jerry Rice said, "All lives matter. I respect your stance, but don't disrespect the flag." In other words, Jay, they have an issue with it being the but national where anthem. Is the rule book, where is the rule book for fighting oppression? Get back to the root. Africans in America, for every year that we've been here, 398 years, have either been chattel property, enslaved, or second-class citizenship. That's not okay. Get to the root of it. Okay. So Jerry Rice and all those who say all lives matter, then include those who are the second-class citizens in America. Niger, you were going to say? Factually. I was going to say... What I was going to say is let's go to the airport, let's go to every port of entry, and every day you've got more Africans or black people coming into the country, not to mention people of color, than leaving this country in this so-called oppressive country. It is an insult, a disgusting insult to those of our ancestors that were slaves, that had to struggle through segregation and overcome for us to say that right. we are second-class citizens today. That is nonsense. It is a lie. It is a palpable lie. <laughs> and you, sir, are misleading so black how? people. You are misleading give me, give me the facts. Misleading give me the facts, people sir. of color. And you sir, are please give me your hope. Give me your facts, Guys, not people. your opinion. We have, because of give, time, give we don't facts, have a lot of time left. So I'm going to give one comment. Let, just pr try to keep it brief, Jay, real quick. And then before we wrap this up, go ahead. All I ask everyone to do is Google oppression, which is a burdensome treatment by an authority of a people, and Google second-class citizenship. And within that, it right. will prove what I'm saying. All no right. opinion, and Nigel, just, just a closing comment from you, the and then we've got to run. The, the biggest slavery today mm -hmm. is the slavery of victimization, right. where you look in the mirror no, and you mass see incarceration, yourself actually. powerless actually, to control actually, your, it's own your own destiny and your own fate. Unfortunately, and you gotta, gentlemen, actually, it's a I really do hate to do this. Now we're all talking, but we do have to go. And we're going to be right back after this.